So this is a big retention chart because it's essentially telling you how many orders your customers have made. Um, and it groups them into the buckets. How many, or how many of your customers have made one order? Everybody. How many customers have made two orders? Let's see. How many of your customers have made three orders, fourth orders, five orders? And you could also, of course, segment this. How many of your customers made two orders that made their first order and bought a specific product or came in from a specific campaign or channel or came in from the physical store, whatever. All that is available in this, in this analysis. So you can quickly look. I think it's easier to look at the percentages because you can quickly see the drop off or if we want to look at it positively, how many people have been retained. So obviously 100% of your customers have made a first order. That's why they're called customers. And now how many of your customers have made a second order? In our case with the fruit stand, 49, I had to do some math in my head, so 100 minus 51.46, 48, 49% of the customers have dropped off. They haven't made a second order. And so I would say this is an opportunity. Let's do something with these people. Let's maybe drill down into different micro segments of them to see that drop off rate, push them into our audiences, push them to our email or SMS platforms and do stuff. Get these people to come back and buy, um, retain to gain. So let's move these numbers. And then you can see the drop off from second to third, third to fourth. Or if we want to look at it in a positive way, of how many people have continued on, how many people have retained from first to second, second to third, third to fourth. So this is a really quick way to look at it. Thanks, bye.